What's up guys? Welcome back to Little Red Garage. Out working on the Warlock again today. Uh, I spent most of the morning screwing around uh, with the wiring to the headlights and the turn signals. Uh, I also put the front valence on. Uh, I pulled out the grill. I got all my headlights, turn signals, uh, buckets, everything. I want to get the front end put together, put the grill on. Uh, don't mind the stacks. That'll be another video. But uh, let's get right into it. Enjoy the video. So I spent a bunch of time today trying to figure out uh, the wiring to the headlights. Uh, I'm still not getting power to the headlights. I do have running lights, turn signals, and marker lights. No headlights. Originally I did have power to one headlight. Now I don't have power to either. Um, I'm kind of playing around with... I ended up ordering a, a new dimmer switch. Uh, this is the original dimmer switch and it's supposed to click click on click off and it's not functioning and it's it's pretty rough I ordered a new dimmer switch um, I put that in uh, it didn't help I'm actually not getting any power down here I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be getting power down here uh, my next step is I've been playing around with the headlight switch itself um, it's acting a little goofy, so, and this is the original, it says Mopar on it. Um, I am getting dash lights. I get turn signals and parking lights, like I said, but no headlights. So, I might play around with it a little more, but I spent a few hours on it already today. And also the horn, I, my horn wasn't working, and I thought I had that figured out. Uh, i seen somebody say that the, uh, there's a ground down here on this rag joint. And I remember when I was uh, doing the frame on this truck that this was missing. I saw two uh, two ring terminals here with no wire. And I'm like, what? I didn't know. I had no idea what it was. And I realized that it's grounding the steering column because of the rubber uh, in between here. So I made the wire for that. I went in and I hit the horn button and the horn came on and it never shut off it's the horn just is on now so i actually have it unplugged uh until i fig figure that out but uh i got the latch put on it's working nice uh front balance that fought me a little bit uh i don't know what nos core support i had the entire front of the truck ripped apart every new core support uh, original fenders, uh, one one on NOS fender, but it's uh, it was done a long time ago. So everything was new. It fought me a little bit getting it all lined up, but it's on there. It looks pretty good. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the headlights and buckets all fitted up. I got all the new hardware for that because uh, I can play with the wiring from back here. So and I really want to get the uh, pull the grill out. I want to get this cleaned up. Uh, it's a really, really nice straight grill. I was really surprised there's not one ding in this grill. It's got a couple light scratches and it's really oxidized. So I want to see if I can get this thing polished up. Now, these grills are aluminum, but they are clear coated with anodizing. So you're not actually polishing the metal. Um, I mean, you can strip the anodizing off and then polish the aluminum. That's extremely labor intensive. Not what I want to get into, uh, especially because then it leaves it raw aluminum. And uh, if you ever had, I have raw aluminum wheels on my little red and they need continuous polishing. Not something I want to do with all these little uh, integral parts here. And then you're gonna, you know, obviously I'm gonna lose all the black. I'm gonna have to redo all that. They do sell kits um, 
to do all this with a like a decal but this is all original i'm not sure it's the original to the truck but it was definitely an nos grill at some point like i said it has an nos fender so it, it could have and it had a different bumper on it when i got it so it, it, it very well could have uh, been in a light accident in the front and this had been replaced because this is a very very nice grill but i'm going to try a few things i'm going to try to uh, polish it with some compound um, I've had pretty good luck with the grill on Little Red, uh, just polishing it up with that. So we'll see if we can get some of this uh, oxidation off of it and at least get it looking better. And get that put on, just kind of get just to see that you know the front end of the truck together. Uh, again, don't mind the stacks. Uh, we're gonna go through that in another video. Where I'm going to be uh, planning out the exhaust. I did get the standpipes. Uh, they look pretty sweet from uh, Don's Custom Exhaust. They make the uh, the replica exhaust system for the Little Red Express. I actually have the full system on my Little Red. Uh, these are custom made in two and a half inch. But uh, like I said, we'll get into all that in a different video. I was just mocking it up and. Uh, I got to do a little bit of work. These these tips are going to come down about three inches. I got to expand the top of the pipe so that the, the, the factory tips will fit in there. So I was just playing with that, seeing uh, what I was going to need to do with that. But uh, let's get right into it. We're going to uh, start by uh, installing the headlights. Okay, the headlights and buckets are installed. Um, this kit worked really, really nice. I thought I bought the Dorman kit and I did not hear good things about these uh, these little plastic clips. Everything fit really nice. I might have uh, bought a, a better quality set after hearing about the that uh, Dorman set. Uh, but everything went in really nice, as you can see. I got some uh, chrome eyelids, just kind of give it that little bit of 70s flair. They have to go in uh, before the uh, stainless trim rings. So uh, that's why they're installed right now. Um, also to note, uh, NOS core support, and this was not drilled for this little spring. So you got a spring here, and then you have the two adjusters. So obviously, um, these will need to be adjusted once we get them on. I believe there's a, a little space in the grill to be able to get a screwdriver in here. If not, I'm not uh, gonna permanently mount the grill. It's only a few screws anyways to pop it on and off. I'm probably going to have to adjust the latch once I get the hood on. And I'm still playing with the horn wiring. But like I said, it's just a few screws. I'm going to bolt it on. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to work on now is seeing uh, how good we can get this polished up. You can get a good look at it before. Got some pretty good uh, oxidation on it. Really, really straight though. I couldn't find a dent in it anywhere. It's got a couple really light scratches in it. Uh, the original black paint is all really nice. So I'm going to pull out a few things. I'm going to start with some compound and a buffing wheel. Uh, see where that gets us. Um, if I have to, I might go as far as uh, some really, really fine sandpaper, like some 3000 grit. 
uh, if it doesn't come out with just the compound. But uh, we're going to start with that and see what it, see what we get. Here's a, about one third of the grill, just with compound and a, a foam buffing pad with a mini buffer. And uh, definitely looks better, about what I expected. There's still uh, quite a bit of cloudiness. Um, I might try uh, wet sanding a little bit or uh, stepping up to a wool pad. I was just using a uh, foam buffing pad and some uh, 3M rubbing compound. I'm, uh, I'm treating it like clear coat on a car. Um, like I said, this is anodized with clear. Uh, if, I was, if this was raw aluminum, this buffing pad would have turned black instantly. And it is a little bit black on the edges, I think, because I'm picking up some of this paint. And I was trying to be real careful not to buff hard on this paint. Uh, number one, I don't want it to be glossy. And number two, if I buff through it, I'm gonna have to repaint all that. So I'm trying to be careful on the black. And that's where the, the black on the pad's coming from. Um, it's not coming from the, the grill itself. So I'm going to continue on. Um, as you can see at first I did was I just uh, cleaned it real good with some glass cleaner, get any of the dirt off of it so that I can get right down to the anodizing and try to brighten it up a little bit. Looks like it's working a little. Um, see if we can get it a little better. After uh, quite a bit of polishing on uh, this half of the grill, it's definitely cleaner, it's looking a little better, but uh, after it dries, you can still see quite a bit of hazing and uh, some of the spotting around the sides of it. Uh, I went a little bit more aggressive. I did a little test spot here where I actually use some 1500 on a DA and then buffed it with a wool pad. Um, looks a little bit better so I might go around real light on the flat surfaces and do that. It took off some, looks like it did a little better job taking off some of the oxidation with a little bit uh, less time. I uh, did go quite a bit, a little test area here, went quite a bit more aggressive and with some 800 and uh, with the with the wool pad and you could see it started to break through 
the uh, anodized clear coat, which what I'm which I'm trying to avoid. Um, it does look really nice underneath the anodized, but to uh, remove that from the entire grill is uh, quite a bit of work. So I think I'm going to continue with a little bit of 1500 polish, and we're going to call it a. That's as good as it's going to get for being a uh, original uh, stock grill. scuffed over the whole grill with some 1500 on the DA. Uh, that's about as aggressive as I would go with car paint. So that's kind of how I'm treating this. Came out okay. Uh, hit it with some, uh, some spray wax just to kind of give it some protection. Uh, let's see what it looks like mounted on the truck. I was kind of uh, stoked that I found this. I, I forgot that I ordered this uh, exterior screw kit from Ant Motorsports. I'll see if I can find a website for them. But it comes with all these screws, uh, all the stuff for the grill. Uh, the main reason I bought it was for the mirror screws and the cargo light screws. Uh, so those were correct, but then I ended up getting the side marker lights, the parking lights, uh, the cowl, tail light lenses so it is a pretty good assortment and they're all uh, numbered in these baggies so really well organized and uh, easy to find what you need so I'm gonna get the uh, all the grill screws together and we're gonna put it on the front of the truck see how it looks pretty sweet obviously it's not perfect still got a little haze to it but overall it shined up pretty good pretty happy with that so it's been a long day but I think I'm gonna spend a few more minutes and see if I can get this front bumper on, really tie it all together.
went together really nice. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, one of my other videos I did on these uh, aftermarket chrome bumpers, uh, the rear is from LMC. The front I actually got off of eBay, but it's a good mark. Pretty sure they're the same uh, company that makes them. But uh, this truck actually had the wrong bumper on it when I got it. So uh, one of the guys on the Facebook page is there. Got me the right brackets. Uh, I wish I knew his name. A uh, big thank you to him. They fit perfect. And this thing just dropped right on. Man, did it really transform the front of this truck. Pretty stoked on that. But I think next time we're going to do uh, kind of get a game plan together for the exhaust. I'm going to kind of mock some stuff up. Um, Get some opinions see what you guys think there's a couple different ways to do it there's a there's a couple things that are uh, hindering uh, running it the way i want to do it but uh i did pick up a, an h pipe kit so i'll be running an h pipe uh, it's all three inch exhaust uh, mandrel bent uh, into two and a half inch stacks um, but we'll get more into that uh, so look forward to that video uh, a few other things coming up too. I got lots of other parts coming in, but it's getting real close. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done that. Uh, leave a comment. I love reading your guys' comments and uh, replying back to them. So uh, until next time, take it easy.